up, YouTube? I'm the Full Metal Digimon. We're back. We're going to show you how to play Pendulum Magicians. All right. Pendulum Magician just got new support. So hand like this is incredibly broken. Uh, let's show you how the deck works. The newest addition is the ability to start your combos with Dragon Shrine. So Dragon Shrine, go into the Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm, which while in the graveyard and you control no monsters, can special summon itself. Looks like we're taking the maxi challenge, no problem. And then Supreme King can summon, and on summon we'll search for a Supreme King Gate monster. So we'll grab our Gate Magician. Now the ultimate follow-up to this is the normal summon Skulker Bat Joker. Skulker Bat can search anything we need from our deck. Now we already have Harmonizing and we already have Double Iris. So <laughs> anything else past here is just kind of extra. So we'll grab a second Gate Magician. Go ahead and scale our first one. Activate its effect to pop itself and then add a gate zero to the scales. And then go ahead and scale any high scale that you have, preferably double iris. And now we're in range to link summon. So Electromite, <clears throat> this is the reason the deck is so broken and the reason you should play this deck. Electromite's going to add the Astrograph Sorcerer from our deck directly to the extra deck face up. And then we can pop our double iris to grab said card. This will start a triple trigger where you have the electromite triggering, double iris trigger, and then you can chain the astrograph to both of those to summon itself. If they do chain something to your double iris, you can still chain astrograph sorcerer, so don't worry about it. It's any anytime a card on your field gets destroyed. So here we're going to add a card that was destroyed this turn to our hand, add the double iris. He draws a card, we're going to search this, and we're going to draw a card. So yeah, Even under max C, it's worth it to do this. You see he has six cards in his hand, we have six cards in our hand. Okay, It, it adds up, trust me. We draw into the call by late. <coughs> uh, let's go ahead, what do we do now? Let's scale the double iris again. We have these guys on the field, so let's go ahead and special summon into exceed the pendulum. Now, Exceed is something you're going to want to kind of keep on the field because you can get tons and tons of advantage from this one card. So she's going to add a monster from our extra deck back to our hand. We'll grab Astrograph. Okay, we'll activate Supreme King Gate Magician's effect, sending one of these dragon monsters to the grave to summon. And that's going to let us search for our trap card. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Then we pendulum summon. We actually should have pendulum summoned first. <laughs> but it's okay. <clears throat> yeah, this will work. One, two, three, and four. It's fine. It's not very different from what I was going to do anyway. So, now you have all these monsters on the field. You went into Electromite, you went into Exceed, Exceed the Pendulum. The next big thing you want to do is make your Absolute Dragon with at least one Gate Magician. Okay. You Exceed these, and then you're going to want to link this and this into an IP or a Little Knight right here in the middle. Okay. Uh, for this example, we'll go with SP Little Knight. SP Little Knight's good because it does point to the left and the right here so it gives you more extra deck options or more options to summon from the extra deck and then we can banish something out of his graveyard if we wanted to that we don't the absolute dragon is going to summon our odd eyes vortex dragon from the deck and this is our first omni negate when a spell trap or monster effect is activated shuffle a face up pendulum from your extra deck into the deck negate the activation and destroy very very powerful and then here we're going to uh, exceed. Get impermed. Not a problem. Um, we're just going to allow it, honestly. So, yeah. That's essentially what a turn one board pretty much looks like. We have uh, some extra materials here, but not even a huge deal. We would have summoned one more. would have went into the IP right here. But uh, it doesn't really change too much. We're not going to set the call by... 
we're only going to use the cards that we searched and yeah and used so bugs armored and dangerous this is actually a good solo mode to go against they have imperm they have called by they have max c they have ash blossoms uh, one card combos things of that nature see he's gonna regeki <laughs> so we have to negate the regeki i guess we should talk about what this board accomplishes okay so we'll shuffle back our skulker bat no problem we have the omni negate right here we have a targeted pop which can lead into a non-targeted send, depending on how that goes. We have a banish in response to an activation of our opponent. We have a soul of the Supreme King to wipe his entire field, okay, which is what we're about to do. And then uh, we have exceed the pendulum to resummon a Supreme King gate from the graveyard to then search our deck for follow-up for next turn. See, so the Supreme King. This will activate to send your Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon, Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, and Odd Eyes Rebellion Xyz Dragon. It has to be those four. It has to be those four. Then you can summon your Zark. His thing will summon, will activate, wipe the field. He's going to set a card. He's trying to end the turn. We're going to exceed the pendulum. Get max seed again. We don't care. We're only going to summon one more time. He should have activated it on the summon of Zark, but psh, whatever. So we resummon the Gate Magician. He'll then search our deck again. This time we're going to grab a Wings of Light. Wings of Light, while Zark is on the field, is actually a special summon, which is pretty huge. And we're also going to Pendulum Graph in the end phase. Pop this and pop that. Boop, boop. <clears throat> this will trigger our double iris to grab the star pendulum graph. He'll have to discard some cards because of max C or whatever. We still have more interruptions. It didn't have to be like that. So the follow-up is absolutely insane -o. Do this, you do that. Boom, you grab this. You know, link uh, some some stuff up into an Appaloosa. Yep, or an access code talker. Either one's really, really good. Appaloosa is a great play to go into if you want to anti-Nibiru your opponent. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what you're trying to do on turn one. Let's reset it. We'll go first again. I'm going to show you an anti-Nibiru play. We're going to pretend like this guy has Nibiru, all right? And I'll show you how to suss that out. <clears throat> okay, so we open up. It's, pr it's pretty decent. It's not too bad. Uh, we can go ahead, activate this before anything happens. We'll summon the Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. This will search our deck for a Supreme King Gate Monster. Grab the Gate Magician. Okay, Gate Magician plus Star Pendulum Graph is very, very powerful. We already have the Time Pendulum Graph. We grabbed two things already that we wanted to search, realistically. This is our weakest opener so far. Well, Gate Zero, Star Pendulum Graph is going to search. Um, if you don't need anything else, go for the Harmonizing. This will do an even more powerful play for you. Though we can't really do the Anti-Nibiru play like this. But it's okay, we'll show you how to combo with not going into Electromite first. So we'll summon these, Harm the Gate Magician from the extra deck, Harmonizing from the hand, activate Harmonizing and then Gate Magician, since Gate Magician doesn't search nearly as much as Harmonizing does. Maxi in response, uh, we are in fact going to call by that. I love being able to show how useful the called by and things like that are in these test hands. So that's why the digital bugs are honestly the best one. So you get to show why I play all these hand traps in this deck, you know. <clears throat> in uh, combo videos, you really wouldn't need to do all that because, uh, you know, they don't have any hand traps. So let's summon the Oaf Dragon from the deck. Oaf Dragon plus Harmonizing equals your Burrow on the Floor. Beautiful. So we're actually only on summon three right now. That was our third summon. Burn the floor. 
anti Nibiru. Didn't even mean to. So we have the Barone. What do we do next? Well, we have two Pendulum Monsters, so we should go into the Electromite. There's no reason to ever not go into Electromite. Electromite is going to be a Link 2 body on the field. It's going to draw a card. At least it's gonna summon an Astrograph Sorcerer, which should search you a monster if you do it correctly. So last time we popped the wrong thing, but now we get the full triple. Well, no, we don't because we already have both Pendulum Graphs. But it, this is the optimal way to do it. You Electromite, pop double Iris, trigger the Astrograph Sorcerer. We're gonna grab another double Iris from the deck. Yes, yes, Electromite, draw a card, we draw into the Dragon Shrine, that's, that's pretty cool for next turn, we're gonna go ahead and scale, yep, it's fine, and then let's go ahead, and da -da 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 -da. exceed, exceed our pendulums, exceed all. All right, and she will add to our hand. Gonna add this Supreme King Gate. Now he already triggered this turn to search. So what we can actually do is just set and set. And I know that doesn't look all that incredible, but trust me, bro, trust me. Stand by main. Lightning Storm. I guess we have to negate that, huh? All right. So, negate the Lightning Storm. Not popping everything. Should have went for the back row, to be fair. Right? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, shit. He wiped our whole field up. <clears throat> How do we come back from something like that, dude? How could we ever even? Um, well, we scale a gate magician. We did lose our um, our low scale there. <clears throat> so we have to go back to scale one. Not a big deal. And uh, we need a high scale. So we don't have any high scaled magicians except harmonizing left. Let's grab Arc Pendulum Dragon. Arc Pendulum, beautiful. Pendulum Summon, one, two, a three. Now, Gate Zero is actually not a useless card to summon uh, since it's level seven. You can't really beat being level seven. And then Dark Worms, search for the Gate Magician. This is beautiful. Odd Eyes Absolute. Boom, boom. And shaboom. Bop. We can go ahead and exceed our pendulum. Summon him. Search. Grab the wings. Link it off. This is something I really like to do too. If you have the materials like this, I don't see a reason not to just go into a four material Appaloosa. Boom, activate your Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. Get an Omni Negate on top of a 4 material Appaloosa. And pop that set card. And we'll swing for game ball. Alright. But now I want to show you the Anti Nibiru combo play, okay? I'll show you how to come back. It, you, you just need some kind of combination of your scales on the field or a Link Monster on the field to summon to. And uh, you can swing back so ridiculously hard, it's crazy. Uh, a card that I've had good results with, too, is uh, Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax. Uh, um, Fire Kings can't do anything to that card. <laughs> you make it with an IP, it's indestructible, untargetable. <clears throat> Let's see, how's this hand? This hand is beautiful. We have Orizomai, Harmonizing, Foolish Burial. So Foolish Burial will get our Dark Worm into the grave. Beautiful. This is going to be the anti-Nibiru anti play right here. So you can't play around that with this hand. So we get Max Seed. We don't care. 
We assume he's going to have Nibiru. We take the maxi challenge. Every time. We get Imperm, dude. That, that's a little rough. So, we got Imperms, we got Max Seed. We have to triple tact and draw two. Let's do it. Draw two. <laughs> we just need a way into the gate. Beautiful. Summon, perform a pal. Activate, grab our Gate Magician. Beautiful. All right, so we can Gate Magician, Wisdom Eye. This will set up our scales perfectly. Activate Wisdom Eye first, since he needs a Magician in the other zone. If you do Gate Magician first, you'll be real upset. So we activate, set up our Double Iris, set up our Supreme King Gate. Now we have two monsters. We're at two summons, and we have our scales. We have everything set up. Time for Electromite. So two summons. This will be three summons. Three summons, two draws for him. So we're going to add Astrograph to our extra deck face up. Okay. Pop the double iris. Add the Astrograph. Activate. Activate. And then chain the Astrograph. That's a trigger, trigger, chain. Don't get confused on how these card effects work. So Astrograph onto the field. He'll, he's going to search out another double iris or any card that was destroyed and is still in the extra deck right now um yeah but we're still gonna grab double iris no problem you always want to replace your scale you need to have a high scale and now we search our trap interruption and electromite draws a card so now we've summoned one two three four times he's drawn three cards we've drawn three cards now this is where you check for nibiru Fifth summon right here, exceed the pendulum. Now they have a choice. If they have Nibiru, as you activate this effect, they'll be able to chain. Their field's going to light up, okay? We can add back anything we want. If it does light up, you 100% add this Gate Magician, okay? Because if they do something, they wipe your field right now, okay, then uh, you can just pendulum summon for five right from your hand. Okay. One, two, three, four. And then harmonizing will summon another one. Now, Exceed can also quick effect if they Nibiru. No, you, you don't you don't chain this to Nibiru. Excuse that. <clears throat> what you would do is if you feel they have a Nibiru, we're just gonna demonstrate it, okay? We're gonna activate Exceed the Pendulum early, summon any pendulum monster from your hand, and immediately they have to Nibiru right now. If they don't Nibiru right now, you go into the Appaloosa. Beautiful. I know it's only two materials, but we do what we have to do. Appaloosa has three arrows pointing down, so... Pendulum Summon. One, two, three. And Harmonizing is four and five. One. Harmonizing counts as two forever. One, two, three, four... And here's our fifth one. And they only draw two for that whole thing. Now we go Appaloosa. Or, um... What was this one called? Baron de Flor. The Baron is here. Activate Supreme King Gate. Yeah, we don't care. Send this. Summon you. Boom. Activate. Now, we're not going to have a Magician to sacrifice for this, so we're just going to grab some extra follow-up, okay? It's not a big deal. Don't go stressing. Absolute. And then Absolute. And one of these two will go into the IP to then link into the Little Knight later. It's one extra interruption. Boom. Activate. Yeah, I don't care how many cards they draw. <laughs> they're probably gonna. <laughs> uh, they're probably gonna do something gnarly, actually, now that I think about it. And now we can grab anything from our deck that we want. We'll grab the Light Worm. He's very good for follow up. And we'll just pass it over like that. Let's see what Digital Bugs can do.
Well, actually, let's talk about it. So you got Omni Negate, Omni Negate, Double Monster Negate, uh, Quick Effect Link Off into a Banish, and then the SP Banish in Additional. And then you also have the Target Pop with this. And if something protects itself or doesn't get popped be like it was supposed to, it'll just send you to the Graveyard anyway. So here he's going to Foolish Burial. What's he send in? Insector Hornet. Okay. We got the Insector Dragonfly. Registrider is coming out. Both level 5. That's fine. We let him go. Insector Exostag. This is going to target a monster and equip it to this card. So we have to do something now. So we're going to IP into the SP. This gives us two additional zones to link to uh, Pendulum Summon to as well. Here we're going to banish that Exostag. Get that thing out of here. It's going to end the turn right there. In the end phase, we'll Pendulum Graph. Use the effect pop. And we still have two on the gates, two monster negates, and this pop. So I don't think it was going to go very good for him, regardless. Uh, hmm. Let's do one more test hand. Maybe we won't get max seed. Baron. Doesn't matter. So we have a new high scale. Star Pandy. Uh, we'll normal summon the Skulker Bad Joker. Yep, search gate. Here's a cool little thing you can do. If you want to waste a bunch of interruptions to just do like crazy amounts of damage, check this out. Count as two. Yep, yep. Count as four. Access the code to the talker. Activate his his ability. Target the Appaloosa. Go up to 6,300. Add in your Supreme King Gate Magician. Get max seed for one. We don't care. And swing it for game. Yeah, you, you, get, you get the idea here, right? Search card. Got a trap shore. And you know, swing it for games and stuff. All right, let's do let's do one more. Uh, we'll get a second this time. See if they can set up some kind of board, and we can break it, huh? Yeah, this will be the last test hand, I think. Oh my god, what a powerful test hand! We have the droll effect veiler, and then full, 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 full combo. Oh my, oh my gosh. You want to see the strongest version of this combo? Dragon Shrine. Send Dark Worm. Dark Worm resummon himself. Dark Worm activate. Get him permed. In the pendulum column. That's rough, dude. That's rough, my dude. Oh my gosh, we don't even care. We play through hand traps like we're eating breakfast, dude. It's not even that serious. So here, we need a high scale. Iris. All right. Now we're going to swap where I normally put my scales so this one doesn't get negated. Supreme King Gate. Activate. Pop itself. Add the zero. Link into Electromite. We're going to play backwards. Electromite, activate, add Ash Graph. We're going to pop double Iris, add the Ash Graph. Dun, 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 dun. Trigger, trigger, chain. Trigger, trigger, chain. Trigger, trigger, chain. Summon the Ash Graph. He's going to search. Three double iris. Double iris. I'm going to search for your trap card. Electromite going to draw a card. One double iris. <clears throat> Negated. 
We're gonna link it to exceed the pendulum. And we're about to we're about to summon real big. Alright, add something back to our hand. Let's add back Dark Worm, sure. Uh, we're gonna pendulum summon one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. Normally, she would just summon him from the deck, but we already had him, so we didn't need to. Uh, we're gonna dra grab our trap card since we have tons of material. We don't care. Go into Baron. Okay, and then we go into our Absolute. Go ahead and send both of these into an SP. Okay, and then Absolute. Summon the Vortex from the extra deck. SP, do not trigger. Ada, uh, it's Vortex Dragon. Amazing. And then we're going to exceed our pendulums. Summon Astrograph from the grave onto the field. What did we accomplish? Omni negate, Omni negate, banish in response to a monster effect. Resummon our gate magician during their turn and search. Pop the in their entire field plus a 4,000, 4,000 untargetable, indestructible boss monster plus a targeted pop and possible send and a search. All in one. Uh, so yeah, dude, get right. That was turn two. <laughs> All right. I actually have one more combo I want to show you. We'll go first. <clears throat> now, we have the Zark pop the whole field. There's one other um, synchro on our opponent's turn that we can accomplish. This is a pretty rough hand right here. This isn't the best. It's not the worst, though. So we're going to send Dark Worm. We're going to cross our fingers we don't get impermed right now. Okay? If we get impermed, then this is officially a brick. Oh, oh. No, it's not. Because we would have normal summoned Joel Mockbird, went into Beyond the Pendulum, and just and just comboed out that way. Doesn't matter anymore. Gate Magician, pop. Get the circle. Bring in Scale the Double Iris. And we'll actually, we will just summon the Droll Mockbird, and we're going to be on the Pendulum right now. Okay, be on the Pendulum, lets you pay 1200 and search any Pendulum monster, but when you do this, you have to Pendulum summon immediately after. Okay, there is no more plays we can do until we Pendulum summon, so that's going to be the last thing you do. We summon these two, summon these two. Now, this isn't, like, worse than Exceed the Pendulum. It's just one less zone you can summon to. <clears throat> All right, here we're going to activate Harmonizing. We're going to activate Supreme King. And then Beyond the Pendulum could activate the pop two cards on the field. So very, very good for going second. All right. So we have our Soul of the Supreme King to pop their whole field. Harmonizing is going to summon an Oath Dragon from the deck. Make an Omni Negate. Bearing the floor. And you'll notice one more Synchro Monster in there. We're, we're going to be talking about him very soon. So, Bearing the floor. Now we need to link some of these off. We're going we're gonna to need a level 4 on the field when we're done with all of this. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to link Exceed the Pendulum. You know what? We're going to do this... We're going to do this the easy way so I can show you. So we'll exceed the pendulum. Exceed, add back. Our Supreme King Dragon Light Worm. Okay. <laughs> and then honestly, just set. So let me show you what that did. We have an Omni Negate, a full field wipe, and then something special. You ready? We wait, we wait. Sets a card. So what we could do, if you played anything, is you activate Exceed the Pendulum, summon your Supreme King Dragon, 
didn't even work. What it's supposed to do. Oh, <laughs> I see. If this card's normal or special summoned, add a Supreme King Dragon or Supreme King Gate Pendulum Monster from your extra deck to your hand. Then, which means you have to do the first part, immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro Xyz a Supreme King Dragon Monster. Okay. What is that Supreme King Dragon Monster, you might ask? Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing. If this card is Synchro Summoned, destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls. Um, also can uh, destroy monsters and do some other cool stuff. So, yeah, that's um, that's some combos. That's what you're looking at. Um, let's hit you with a, a, quick, a quick deck list, I would say. Quick. If you want an in-depth guide on how to build this deck, it's going to be a little longer than than just telling you how how I build the deck. I have three different versions. This will be the version I show you today. This is called Zark 40. This is a 40 card Supreme King Zark deck. We have the uh, necessary. If you want to play the trap card, you have to play Arc Pendulum Dragon, Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, and any kind of Xyz Dragon Monster, okay? So for hand traps, we're playing Triple Effect Veiler, Triple Droll, a Nibiru, some Call Buys, um, nothing too, too crazy, just, you know, enough to be able to play. Uh, the core of the deck here is going to be your Triple Wisdom Eye, Triple Performa Pal, Double on Harmonizing and Double Iris, Double on the Supreme King Dragons, one Oaf Dragon for level 10 plays, Astrograph, one Gate, Triple Supreme King Gate Magician. Newest starter is the Dragon Shrine and the Foolish Burial. Uh, Triple Tactics Talents is just an amazing card. You should uh, put Thrust in here also. I uh, just don't have it right, don't have it yet, but yeah, you want a Thrust as well. You don't have to play 40 cards. You can play a lot of cards. You want to throw a cash tier package in here? Throw a cash tier package in here. You know, you want to you want to throw uh, bestials in here? Throw bestials in here. You want to throw a couple revolution dragons to get into your place a little more? Do do that. You know what I mean? Do what you want. Pendulums are a very flexible deck. It's just important that you have your your core magicians, your wisdom, your performa pal, your harmonizing double iris gate magician, your dark worm dragons. You need that stuff. The extra deck uh, is also very tight. We have the Vortex that we summon, uh, this that we send, this that we summon, this that we send, this that we sometimes summon. If I was going to get rid of something, this would be the guy. Um, Omni Negate, summon an Omni Negate. You need this, but it also has a good effect. Uh, when you summon this card, you can detach a material and pop two monsters with 3,000 or less attack. Pretty cool. Um, and it targets, which uh, kind of sucks. The Link Monsters are stupid dummy broken in this deck. You have uh, Electromite, IP Mascarena, Beyond the Pendulum, SP Little Knight, Exceed the Pendulum, Appaloosa, Access Code Talker. The only other recommendations I could make is possibly replacing, you know, maybe an Access Code for a Crusadia and maybe getting rid of this for like a Selene. But, you know, none of those things are necessary. And uh, you can play the deck however you want. Yeah, that's what I have for you today. Let me know what your favorite Pendulum deck is. Let me know if you think this deck's any good. Um, let me know if you, you want to see me take it into a tournament and uh, see if we can show people how to play Pendulums properly. But that's all I have for today. Thank you so much. You're beautiful people. Have a wonderful night. I hope this mic worked. Beep, 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 boo.